Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here, sat in the tunnel this evening. We've um, changed the cars around a little bit such that um, I can get on the Stag. Um, appreciate we've got a little bit of rain at the end of the week, but um, this will enable us to work inside the rain, given that we're still rebuilding our garage. Um, so the project tonight, very briefly, midweek, is to look at the uh, glove compartment, the glove box system on the stag you'll have noticed from a few videos i did a little while back that there's quite a issue with the one in ues 591s it's fallen down um, so i've purchased this fairly recently from can't remember where um, i'm not that impressed in terms of its um, shape or uh, strength and i'll give you a close-up of it in just a second but that's the plan for tonight just to see if i can swap that over and see what i can see okay so uh just popped it on the um sunny side of the bonnet just so you can have a closer look and i'm sure many of you have got these already and as i was just saying the construction of these strikes me as pretty crummy um the base of it is kind of hardboard at best which um looks all right i suppose it's held in with some plastic rivets uh, the rest of the structure but the rest of that structure is nothing more than cardboard it would seem just thick cardboard with um, some flaps on here which you can see you know that's going to be holding up the side of this um, dashboard any weight on the base which is this bit here is obviously going to put a strain on the uh, the joints here and this presumably is why the one in our car has fallen off but um, I just want to share with you what it looks like it cost me about 16 quid which I think is a rather lot of money and um, probably on a good day with a bit of plywood and some um, brackets and hinges and screws I'm sure I could uh, make one myself that would be a lot more stronger than this one is um, whether it's designed to fail in an accident thus not not crushing your knees I don't know but um, strikes me all in as a pretty flimsy um, replacement of the one we've got but let's get inside the cabin and have a look and um, incidentally, for those that uh, wonder, we have this up for the winter, really just to keep the rain off and whatever. Um, it served its purpose keeping the uh, Triumph Stag and the uh, Triumph Stag support vehicle, Harry's MG BGT, warm and dry. Um, but I think you can see, given that it's got black uh, walls, here we are, midsummer. I can hardly see in here. I've had to bring in a um, a light so I can shine up to see what I'm doing which isn't particularly good so just a word of warning if you're thinking of getting a carport to kind of come to lean to uh, get one that uh, that's worthwhile probably with white walls so you can uh, get some of the benefit of the light okay so here we are in the um, UES 591S's uh, footwell on the passenger side and you can see here this I'm sure you've seen it in other films I've done recently has all come loose that would appear to be the the front end of it yeah, obviously um, and um, just a little bit uh, uh, knackered as well and the bit I was just showing you the bit that I think is quite sensitive and flimsy is tucked away right up here so this one has obviously split as you can see a similar make of cardboard and has just randomly fallen off uh, the rest of it is pretty self-evident so I'm gonna have a go at this See if I can replace it. Hopefully it won't be too long a job. Um, I understand there's a there's a, a plate at the back here that you can just see my finger on, which is the back of the fuse box, which has got a couple of tangs on there as well, you can see. And the back of it is designed to rest on that to give it a little bit of strength. But I suspect, even though I'll put this new one in, I will be revisiting this in the not-too-distant future to put in something a little bit more capable of um, supporting even a basic library book would be good <laughs> and uh, with apologies to um, inky yellow fans of which i am one um, you can still see uess's 591s's original color here um, as it came out the factory uh, commission plates we were talking about that the other week weren't we so uh, there you go right let's um let's see what we can do to get this out okay that's one out Drop it on the floor. Let's have a go at this one here now. That one's in a bit tighter, but it will come out. And there's actually two here. There's one on the uh, the nearer side too. So sorry, we're in a bit of a cramped space, but I just need to apply a bit of. Uh, and in actual fact there is a, a bolt into the um, 
side here that uh, holds it all up. So I've just discovered this. So I'm just now finding this out. Okay, so I've just re replaced it now just because it is in through the carpet, but obviously into the um, footwell wall. Um, and um, there we have the uh, old one out. And I'll get that out to have a proper look at it on the bench or outside so we can see what the score is. Okay, so we'll leave the footwell as it is for a minute. I'll just uh, pan back onto the rear boot lid where with a bit of protected carpet I've got both uh, old and new uh, residing. Um, these two here were nuts and bolts as it turned out. I think I just uh, mentioned that. Um, and the actual thing is mounted on the side wall through this hole uh, just here. So that's actually a metal bracket onto which these two nuts and bolts screw. And then obviously you've got what looks like a crash pad at the front of that. Um, uh, glove compartment uh, space, shelf, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and as you can see here, if you map it to the other one, um, where it's broken clearly is on this cardboardy, uh, rubbishy, flimsy part here. And this has broken off and been left in the car. One adaptation by the looks of it in recent times has been a bit of one by a half inch, I'm not quite sure what, um, improvisation, and they've stuck a bit of wood on the back, presumably, to brace it, uh, but obviously it's defunct. Now I'm going to see how this actually fits onto the front and uh, obviously we need to put it onto the new one. All right, so um, getting into the uh, the weeds here, it would appear that these are all rivets um, in the uh, just behind the crash mat of that uh, parcel shelf. And I'll flip this thing over so you can see here, these are um, actually just folded over. So that's actually what's holding it all in together. Um, and obviously I need to work through all of these pieces to get it free so I can replace it and put it onto the uh, onto the new one. All right, so I've got the um, glove compartment on the bench now. Um, the one off the car has come here, as you can see, here's a new one there. Um, the issue is you've got to take off the front, um, I call it like a crash bar, it's almost a metal piece um, that is on the front of that uh, glove box shelf itself. Uh, the issue is you've got some real nasty little rivets here um, which are you can just see on the top here where are we just there all right you can just about see that um, and that holds the cardboard shelf in itself so what I've been trying to do with a screwdriver is pry back these little tabs you can just see starting to come back now and I've got two out which is good but uh, it's a bit of a fiddle I don't know if you can get these replacements or not would rather use black ones than um, ordinary rivets, so that's what I'm doing right now. Luckily I've got them all off, um, but as you can see here, this is what I'm dealing with. Tiny, tiny, tiny little split pin rivets uh, that are obviously designed only to be used once, I would think. But I've um, got them clear now from the um, metal bar at the front, and all the holes are clear, which I'm quite pleased about. So now I'm going to offer up the, um, the new one and just trial fit it to see if it fits in the um, in the space the old one left. I'm not convinced it's exactly the same shape as the old one. Okay so we decamped to the um, summer table and um, gravitated to the fact that I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use rivets in here to make it a decent job. Um, does actually fit but um, I'm gonna try and man it up a little bit more than it is more than it's been as a cardboard cutout before. So 5mm drill, um, just drill out the metal bit underneath here to make the hole a bit bigger to take a decent sized rivet and a washer that goes on here down into there and then pull it in tight. So that seems to have done the job. I know it's not quite how it came out but I think it's more industrial and um, if I put a little bit of black paint on there you'll never know the difference. And underneath for safety, very safe you can see there. That's not going to get in anybody's way at all which is good. Okay, so here's the uh, defunct one, um, now free to go in the bin. Um, I've picked up one or two little ideas on it to improve. Clearly this is a weak spot, and looking at the previous owner who stuck a bit of wood on the back here, that would suggest also that's a bit of a weak spot as well. So what I've done on here, as I've just said, is put rivets through here to hold it all nice and tight. Um, I picked up the idea of using a bit of wood on the back. I thought that wasn't a bad one because it was bowing that bit of cardboard there well, hardboard paper, so I screwed that in now. 
and um, over here uh, it's not pretty but you can't see it when it's in the car I decided to bolster with a couple of rivets an old bit of metal I had in my toolbox folded over such that when that's in the car and mounted on that screw hole that's the hanger then it'll be hang on metal not on the card which obviously breaks off over time so hopefully that'll make it a lot more robust without compromising any safety issues either so if it does need to get crushed by knees it still can because it's still made of hardboard underneath but uh, hopefully a lot more stable now to get it back in the car okay so back to the car now and um, I've pushed it out the drive a little bit so I can get to the blinking thing um, in the shade which is nice it's been a really hot day today and uh, I've got the light ready to go just to add a little bit more je ne sais quoi and uh, here's the challenge so the challenge here is you've got to get it on the side here with a screw I've just removed um, up on the uh, relay box on that lip and then into this bracket here of which there's only one screw just be careful because I did it of pulling the um, air pipe off so that just came off but it's, I've just put it back on to hold it which I think is okay but uh, just some things to watch out for when you're doing this job and um, here is the new uh, parcel shelf going in I've had to put actually five screws across the back here because even with three in it started warping in between which is uh, just shows you what a crummy job this is but actually it's pretty robust now and uh, pretty confident this will go in nicely and uh, serve its purpose and although you would think this is an easy task, actually it's quite tricky trying to find... I did these bolts up first to get this bracket on and then I temporarily just loosely tucked in the, um, the bolt there through the retained uh, kind of uh, orifice in that metal plate I showed you earlier and, um, and then waggle this around until I can actually find it located behind the carpet. That's the issue. Um, I also found this is the longer uh, kind of bolt of the two so um, might just pay you dividends to remember that because I wasn't getting anywhere near it with the bracket as it is but that's now caught after about 15 minutes of faffing about um, such an easy job you'd say wouldn't you but there we are so that's now coming up nicely and obviously once this one's tightened up I can then go back to the other one I just showed you and uh, tighten that up too all good da -da 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 -da. and finally at last Jobs are good and it's in and safe and parallel and very strong actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, there is an argument you could put another screw below the one I've just um, put in there by the uh, courtesy light. There is a hole to do that if I wanted. I might just do that uh, next time I remember but for now that is definitely good, solid and in place and um, yeah very pleased. So uh, at last I can go out with some street cred once I put my carpets back in. All right, guys, so uh, thanks very much for watching. It was a bit of a, a journey, that, wasn't it? Putting a parcel shelf back in a stack you'd think would be a pretty easy kind of task. Um, I can only equate it to uh, home DIY and being asked to put shelves up at, uh, in the family home. We all know kind of what that uh, can strike fear into our souls over. So, um, yeah, it's a, a little job, but one of those things is important to get right, and uh, they are very functional once you've got them in. But uh, anyway, we all prevailed and uh, very happy with the result. And uh, just going to go for a quick test drive with it. Why not? It's been nearly 30 degrees today, so uh, about time we got out and about in the stag. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. All the best. Cheers for now. Bye.